hair tutorial on how to curl your hair with a curling wand. So, how to wave your hair? Yes, how to make your hair look like this, or like this, or like both of this, or like... However you want, really. Yeah. It's all you. Yeah. You rock what you want. If you want to get kind of something like this, just watch this video and you'll get kind of some tips. <laughs> this is our first tutorial, so enjoy. Enjoy. Hi. Hello. We are here today to do a hair tutorial, as you have seen already the final result, hopefully. Uh, this is our first video, so we're just testing the waters here. Um, so people all the time ask us, how do you achieve hairstyle like this? Um, we're going to do a quick little tutorial. It's so fast. It's great. Uh, how fast is it when you do it? Like for work, how long does it take you to do your hair? Soup to nuts. I'm done in 20 minutes, 25 maybe. Cool. If I do an extra layer for more volume. Oh, okay. Great. Awesome. Okay. So first things first, um, always want to make sure that you use heat protectant. So right now I'm using, uh, Lange, Lang, Lange, Lang, the Rival Heat Shield. Um, yeah, so just want to spray it all over. You don't want to oversaturate it though. So basically, I mean, just whatever kind of heat shield you use or whatever. Sometimes if it's right after I shower, I use like a leave-in conditioner slash like blowout cream. Mm -hmm. Then that has heat protectant in it. So if I take a shower, blow dry my hair, and immediately curl my hair, I don't usually put in like an extra because I already have the heat protectant in with like the blowout cream. So usually only if I'm starting with dry hair that hasn't just been washed do I start with like the heat shield. So um, just make sure that you're protecting your hairs. Your hairstylist and yourself will thank you. Yes. Curling, there's so many different ways that you can do or so many different products you can use. Um, right now I'm using the Lang 32 millimeter wand and they have a 28 millimeter, 32 millimeter. They have one that's interchangeable. Yep. You can even use a curling iron that has a clamp, but you just are going to be ignoring the clamp. So you can really use it with whatever you have. So that's really great. They also have ones that have like a little like finger holder so you don't burn yourself. Um, but that's mine. I don't, I don't have that on I'm mine. Scared. I don't have that on mine. The Lang ones also come with like a little glove so you can put it on, but I prefer not to use it. But if you're like really scared, um, you can use the glove. You can use the little, the wand with the specific finger holder, or you can just live life on the edge and just risk burning yourself once in a while, which is once a month. <laughs> Sometimes. If once a month. If you're not careful, it gets hot. So anyway, so I don't have this on right now, but I just did want to say how quickly that it turns on because it turns on and gets up to heat so fast. Like, I don't know, like our friend Jackie recommended the Lang products to us and they're like amazing. So I couldn't really tell you how anything else is because I haven't really used anything else. But anyway, I'm going to literally turn this on. It's been off this whole time. Like it's like freezing. No, like grab it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not even on. It's freezing. No. Okay. So I'm going to turn it on and then like maybe 30 seconds, it's going to be like ready to go. So. You can find a hundred different ways to tell you how to like separate it, part it, do it, whatever. I think it just kind of, you have to figure out what works for you because like Ree has a lot less hair than I do. I just have so much hair. So for example, like you could do, Ree, how do you section your hair off? Um, for me, I will, why is this cord not working? <laughs> it's not even on. Technical difficulties. Okay. So I just turned. The curling iron on now for, so, real. for reals so it's starting to heat up um so how do you parch parching your hair when you are going to curl it for me i like to do simple like yawn kiss method keep it simple stupid okay so two sections that's it so i'll pick the top part and then you just have the bottom well that was too much but so I'll take the top sector, put that up here on top of my head so I don't touch it, and then curl this bottom half here. So you're just a half, half up, half down. You'll do bottom half and then top half. Okay, cool. Yes, ma'am. Great. Um, sometimes, I mean, I, my hair, I just have like a, like a lot of hair. It's not super thick, 
but I just have a ton of hair. Um, so it kind of depends on what I'm doing. Like if I'm doing my hair for like a nicer event, I'll section it into, I'll section it more. I'll do more sections. So that way I can get smaller little pieces of hair. So that way, like I can get a lot more like volume and whatever. But if it's just for like every day, it doesn't need to be that complicated. So typically I'll just do, I'll, I'll do the, I'll do like the bottom like third. So I'll do that. And then I always like pin them up with like just these like clippy thingy. And at this time now the uh, wand, ah, the wand is hot. <laughs> so it's like actually like ready to go now. So super quick. So usually just kind of go like, you know, like right at like the ear kind of level and just get the bottom third of my hair. And then just pin up. And then sometimes since my hair is so thick, I have to do it on the other side too, just to not, you know, lose it. Don't pull it, don't pull it, don't pull it. Was it connected? No. <laughs> <laughs> there was one that was connected. Um, yeah, so here I just have, it's like a pretty small amount, but um, it's just like the bottom section. So also my hair is a lot shorter than Rudy, so. This is where it can What does that be. have to do with it? I'm going to say that this is where it gets a little tricky. You have to make sure to be careful not to burn yourself, especially if you have shorter hair because you're going in a little bit closer to your neck. So I have a higher burn risk. <laughs> so what you do is you just take a, like a small chunk of hair. So I'm going to say like, like this is like fine. Um, probably even a little bit small, but just for, you know, demonstration's sake. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take the wand and you always want to curl away from your face. Um, you can play around with, oh, sorry. you can play around with like doing alternating or whatever, but just for this, we're going to keep it simple, stupid, and just curl everything away from our face. And um, yeah, so we'll start with that. So grab your little chunk. I always go like behind and then just wrap it around. And then you want to leave a little chunk at the end, just so that way it just kind of flows naturally at the end, like kind of how Reese does. Like at the very end, it's not like super, super curly. And you just want to hold it for, I don't know, five to seven seconds. Um, it's going to feel like, you're like, are you sure? But it like, it's plenty of time. So I just did that little one. Um, the unders are, um, I try not to make them like too super tight. Like you want the bottom layer to kind of, be the bottom layer and not get like stuck up and like under the rest of your hair, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah, to, <laughs> to add more volume. Right. To be like... Boom. Just kind of a base layer and to kind of give you that like length and not to make your hair look super, super short. Yep. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the rest of my head and just take chunks. I'll probably take a little bit bigger of a chunk. So, so you have... do you start with the one closest to your ear? I do. I start... I will partition it in this way, and I will start with this piece in the back. So <clears throat> I'll, I'll have it in two halves, and I'll start with this piece in the back mm -hmm. and go forward. And then go to this side, start with the piece in the back, and go forward. Interesting. Yeah, we're not the same. We aren't. Um, yeah, I just, I just kind of start in the front on one side, and then go around back to the other side. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Just taking the chunk, putting the wand in, and it's going like not all the way, like all the way up to my head. I'm kind of starting a couple inches um, away. That way, just kind of the same thing, like the um, like the curls aren't so tight. It kind of gives you a little bit more um, like free flowing kind of dealio. So there you go. But also being careful here because that's your neck and that's like an easy, easy burn spot. I've done it before. Whoopsie daisies. There goes the phone. Uh oh. Okay. And what else do I got? I got this little chunky here. And I think it's important that you just kind of experiment and just kind of 
feel out like what look you like the best and like what works for you um, and like just like circumstances like if you're just going like to work or if you want to look a little bit like fancier um, yeah so I just finished my bottom layer and I gotta fix my phone because I I, uh, I broke so when you're going fancier do you do smaller pieces of hair so you have more curls is that what you what you mean yes oh, okay what I do typically because it gives you you get more curls and then you get like more volume and then if you're going each direction like it kind of gives you more of like that I don't know you can just kind of play around with the look mm -hmm. um, also depending on what you want and how long you want it to hold you can throw in some hairspray after each layer um, I use the Sebastian shaper um, this stuff is great yeah yep I will put it on after every layer you do yeah yeah you know <laughs> it's not just typically. so not typically I don't typically and here's why because sometimes like when I I notice like when I first curl my hair it's like it's like super tight and I almost like it like two or three hours after I do it more because it kind of loosens out and like it gets a little bit more like natural instead of like super like tight and done up which is fine like if you're going for that for like an event or something then you like want to put a bunch of hairspray in it so it stays all night and it like looks like fancier or whatever but when However, I'm trying to make it more like relaxed and natural me personally my hair holds curls really really well so mine doesn't and with the amazing hairspray now that we have in 2020 it doesn't hold your hair in like like jello yes if you will yes so you're able to spray like me i spray a considerable amount of hairspray after each layer and then i'm able to shake it out and it's still relaxed and soft um it just alex doesn't like hairspray <laughs> and her hair doesn't agree with it apparently it's just like i said is that my whole my hair holds curls really well so it gets like right after I do it, like it, you make fun of me that I look like George Washington, but after a couple hours, it like relaxes and loosens out, and then that's when I like it more. So if anything, I would hairspray it at that point, not like right when I do it to keep it like gotcha. super tight. Um, but I have found that my hair holds curls less when I do it with the wand method versus when I curl with like the straightener. So when I curl with the straightener, I don't use any hairspray, but when I curl with the wand, I put in usually like like, like a finishing kind of hairspray hmm. yeah so what I did next is that since we're trying to go quick like going to work like not trying to go super fancy yep. I just put down like the top side of my head but then not all the way back so I kind of stopped like there's still kind of stuff in the back going on here and this is just because I have so much hair not because like if, if I had less hair I would just do like like one and two but I just have so much hair that there is just a lot um, sometimes if I'm going like super fancy or two, like I'll even separate this because I have layers. Um, but since I'm trying to go for that quick, you know, just going to work kind of vibe. Before we bought these uh, curling irons, or right when we first bought the curling wands, we watched probably about 20 YouTube videos or Facebook videos um, of people doing exactly this and it helped me a ton just watching them and learning how three different people did their hair with the same curling wand yeah and how it <clears throat> all ended up looking the same at the end and just figuring out like what taking those three um women's suggestions and figuring out how it worked for me and now i'm able to just go in 20 25 minutes and be done yeah, I think it's important, like, there's no, like, one way, or, like, there's no right way. It's just, like, what works for you, like, we all have different hair. Like, me and Rhea are, like, the same person, but we even have such different hair. And just different volumes, and, like, hers is super curly, and, like, hay, and mine's, like... Mine used to be more naturally curly, but it's, like, actually, like, straightened out over the years. Um, but I have, like, a lot of hair. Um, so I think it just depends. But, like, just try it out and, like, find out what works for you and, like, what you like. And I think, like, someone can say, like, or I can even tell you, like, oh, like, you know, do it like this so it doesn't look like that because mm -hmm. I don't like it personally. But, like, if you like that, like, that's all that matters. 
So just rock it. Rock it. Um, also, I will mention too that if you do end up doing like start to get bigger chunks of hair, I would hold it for closer to like the seven seconds, maybe seven to ten seconds instead of five to seven. Mm -hmm. um, that way it's just kind of, I don't know, when you do thicker pieces of hair, um, you have to hold it for a little bit longer. And then when you're done holding it at the bottom for a little bit just to hold it in place, when you let it go, just like holding it like, yeah. yeah. And I think so that's after, right after you let it go. Yes, but that's something, for example, like she does, but I don't. You just did it! Just no, now! Because you just said. now! Because you said you just, it! No! <laughs> you have been doing it the past couple times. No, you I didn't even realize been. it. No, I haven't been. Yes! Like right here, and then you just boop. <laughs> what? You did it the past three times. Yes, that. But just when it comes out of the curling iron. Correct. Arm, but not That's it. like after to like no. set it in. Okay, sorry. She doesn't understand. I misunderstood. Okay, so this is what I have to really focus when I start to do the pieces around my head. So even if I'm doing super big chunks, usually when I get around my face, like these kind of two pieces here, I'll do smaller. I'll break it into two just because it is like right around my face. So I want the curl to be, I want it to be a little bit tighter just because it is right around my face I kind of I just kind of like that look mm -hmm. and to get the more relaxed look you would start farther down and not not start the curl so close to your face so to get them like to be down here right away like don't start to right. wrap so it. you would start like here, yeah exactly. like halfway exactly and to I be will say, more relaxed starting from the get-go especially if you have longer hair yeah since I have shorter hair um if I started it halfway like you know it would I would only have one mm -hmm. hang around the barrel, so it wouldn't right. be really curly at all. But like for you, for example, you start halfway down, you still can get it around the barrel three times, so you still have like that curl mm -hmm. kind of look. Right. So, so there we go. You forgot this whole section. I know. I got underneath. So sometimes I. Like, That's how you really do it. Yeah. Like for real. Yeah. that up um you can put hairspray in the side if you want right now um i'm just gonna let it kind of go and then all the hairspray all at the end um but yeah so like this side is a little bit easier because it's not as like since i part it and there's less hair on this side there's not as much like hair going on so show them the uh like how it looks flat versus like okay. twisting yeah Okay, <clears throat> so uh, let's go flat. So I'm just going like here. Flat, Careful. flat, flat, flat. I hope you're able to see. So the hair is like super flat. It's just one big layer. And. See how that kind of turned out like more like it came out of a curling iron. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was something really interesting to me. Because you're it's the same it's the same wand. Right. But you can get two different looks. Mm-hmm. So now we'll do like you kind of bunch it up and then like you kind of like twist it. And like it's not flat, it's like Kind of like like twisted. rolled up in a bowl, kind of, <laughs> <laughs> but like not all the way. You know, you know what I mean. It's hard to explain. Totally. <laughs> but that's how you get like I I did my whole left side of my face with like the twisting kind of method, and I held it for a little longer so you can kind of see that it it's more of like that wave kind of dealio. Um, I guess too, it's important to mention. Um, how I have the the curling iron like straight up and down yeah. as opposed to kind of the other way I think it just kind of helps kind of get that first one like you know up instead of like creating like a weird kind of angle I guess like if you were sideways <laughs> yeah okay so I got a couple more in here sorry I 
apparently. Did I do it backwards? I don't know. I think you did that one piece backwards. No, I meant like You're I, doing I did the top. Like, no, I'm not. I just meant like doing the top section before the bottom section. Yeah, that's so. still like. Ow. That's a new concept. Did you burn Sorry. yourself? Uh, just a little, uh -oh. but it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the risk that I take when I don't wear the glove? But I mean, honestly, personally, like when you wear the glove. It is harder to kind of like feel out your hair and like get the sections. I mean, for me personally, I don't know about anyone else, but it's just a little bit uncomfortable for me. And like, you just don't, you don't have the feeling in your fingers because you have a glove on. So you can't like <laughs> feel like your hair, you know, like, is that just what? me? Yes. Like, how are you, like, how do you just uh, section your hair when you have, don't you have know your glove? It. And then I just found myself like taking the glove off and on and like, okay. Wow. Well, well you have to take it off. I wear the glove because I don't want to burn myself, and my curling wand has the plastic on the top so that I can like touch it or like if my hair is up there, I can like so like how my fingers it. are, I could basically like put my fingers on the end of the wand. Right. And um, I have not burned myself, and it's a great experience. Congratulations. And I section my hair off just fine. <laughs> Wearing what? <laughs> wearing the glove? Correct. <sighs> that's like that's a, a miracle. It's a magic? Is it magic? It's a miracle to me. Okay. Okay. So now I just have this final chunk in the back of my head. What? Just because it's me. So I that know. took five minutes. Yeah. So if you're a normal person, it would take you ten minutes because you got one, two, or bottom, top. Like it's it's real simple. But me, mm, I'm not simple. Sometimes. I do section off a back piece of my hair or like the back part of these side sections because at first I was doing them all the same direction and then I had a weird like bald spot if you Probably. will. <laughs> and the pieces just weren't falling down on the back of my head correctly. Um, so you do have to do the back like sideways actually, not up and down. If you have a cowlick. <laughs> no. See, that's how you're doing it now, sideways. It's still like, it's not like. It's slanted, but it's sideways. <laughs> to get it to go in the back of your head, like down. Right. Correctly. Right. <laughs> right, that's true. Not the opposite of gravity. Right, Because that's, that's mine was just weird. Yeah. It takes practice. Because if you're putting it sideways, then it like accentuates the cowlick versus like if you, that's if you do not, it horizontally. That's what Frederick has. <laughs> that is not what I But if you do it like this, the curl, like the top of the curl kind of like falls like this and then curls. Yep. So then it kind of covers up like the weird kind of like where your hair kind of parts in the back. Exactly. So bald spot. Right. <laughs> well, you want to call it a bald spot. I was trying to help by calling it a cowlick. Isn't that something that Frederick has? Yeah, but it's like the same thing. How? Isn't that when you have like a man's cut and the top thing just goes bloop? No. That, yes! <laughs> we will look it up. Can you look it up? Yes! <laughs> because in the thing they call it a cowlick in the show, One Million Dollar Listing. Right. How he had his uh, men's style haircut. Yeah. I will say too, like if you're worried about like missing pieces in the back, like you can go ahead. <laughs> you first. I was gonna say you can like grab your section, like take the piece that you're curling actively out and then like repin up what you're doing. That way like you don't miss any hair in the back, especially if you haven't done it a lot and you can't like you obviously you can't see it and if you aren't familiar with like feeling it out, that's what I would recommend, but I kind of, I know how much hair I have, so I know how much to expect and like kind of how many and like what is going on back there. A cowlick is a section of hair that stands straight up or lies right. at an angle at odds right. with the style in which the rest of an individual's hair is worn. Right. Cowlicks appear when the growth direction of the hair 
forms in the spiral pattern. Right, so like back here. Like this. <laughs> but that's, if your hair was short, that's <laughs> what it would look like. Um, okay, Brie, can you tell me if I have any other pieces back here? Apparently, Lindsay Lohan has one, according to Google. Uh, I, think, I think I got them all. So. This is very interesting. Yeah. Um, okay, so what you're gonna do next after you're done with your style and you love it. This is the, the photo. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Go closer. Yep, there it is. <laughs> That's beautiful. You're welcome. Um, okay, focus. Hi, I'm here. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so, okay, what time is it? Are you done? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Did you hear a spray here? Well, spray? hang on. Can we just stop? Okay, make sure one, turn off the curling iron because it's hot. Um, if you need it again, you can still use it within like two minutes of turning it off because it's still so hot. And if you find out afterwards that you need it later, you can turn it right on and it'll come right back on and it'll be hot again. So always turn it off so you don't forget. Is that 400 degrees like period? Uh, this one's 450. Whoa. Yeah, this doesn't have a an option. Um, my hairstylist does not recommend going that high of a temperature. No. Sorry, Kayla, but this is all I have. <laughs> but, bad client uh, alert! <laughs> bad client alert! But her curling iron has like a, a gauge, but like yes. my straightener, I usually do it at like 370. Um, yeah, mine, I will curl uh, my hair with the wand at either 390 or 400. Cool, so you're done. You've got your hair kind of how it is. Um, yeah, I mean, you can run your fingers through it. After, after it kind of cools to the touch, I, wait till it's done cooling. Um, so when you touch it, it's not like hot anymore because when it's hot, it's still kind of like <clears throat> setting. So make sure you wait till it's like <laughs> cool, but then you can kind of like run your fingers through it. And like, once you do this, it kind of gets the hairs kind of separated, but then like they all fall back together eventually yep. anyway. But it just kind of like loosens it and like makes it a little bit more relaxed. And I'll do like the rock star. Absolutely, the I rock do the rock star. star. Uh, like, <clears throat> yes, kind of thing. That to fix my calyx. Yeah, <laughs> so that kind of gives it, it kind of makes everything fall into place kind of how you like it. Um, and then if you so desire, um, throw some hairspray in there. Um, one thing I really like, Ooh, one thing I really, really, <laughs> really like doing, um, I like texturizing spray. Ooh, so what is that? I will usually use texturizing spray in lieu of hairspray. I don't know if it does anything for hold, but I think that like when you put in texturizing spray, it almost like feels to me like kind of like a hairspray. Hmm. So I don't want to put hairspray in it. So texturizing spray, like I have like a sea salt spray. So it's just like water and like sea salt. So basically like if I like did this like like with my hair and like, you know, like kind of like this or whatever. And like, yeah, like it looks like this right now, but after like 10, 15 minutes, it's all gonna like kind of go back together again. And it's going to- Is that this? No. No. It's gonna go back together again and kind of go back like this. But if you kind of zhuzh your hair up and then you put texturizing spray, it stays like that. So it won't go back like this. So just depending on what you're looking for, I really like to use texturizing spray, especially I liked it when I had a little bit shorter hair. Yeah because it kind of brings you out instead of just like, like this. <laughs> right, like so, for longer hair, I personally don't like it. Right, exactly. And I don't use it. Yeah, so that's just another another tool in your toolbox. So just like kind of figuring out like what 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 you like, you know, like what, what combination of things do you like for like what kind of look that you're getting, so. One thing, if I'm not going to put anything, like if I'm going to put hairspray or texturizing spray, I have this like nourishing gloss. Um, this is also Lang. And I really enjoy this because um, basically it's like, what is that stuff called? Like Frisbee gone? Yep. So <laughs> like you're just, yeah, <laughs> exactly. But basically it's just like shining, um, like leaves hair soft, natural, healthy looking shine. So just kind of like a nice finishing product, like it's shiny and... Um, you know, just kind of finish. Oh, it's off. like a goop. It's like frisbee gone. Oh, so it's, it's a goop. Yeah, so it has like a, a little. Spray. No, it's got like a little nozzle, oh. and you just like, and it's just like huh. a goopy kind of deal. And then you just kind of like it's like literally like frisbee gone. Hmm. And so I probably put a little bit too much on my hands. <laughs> 
But so just I just like kind of run that through, kind of get it on the ends and then and, and everywhere, and it just kind of leaves you like shiny and and it smells good. Yeah, it smells really good. Just just a little bit of that extra kind of finisher, especially if nothing else is going in. It's just kind of a nice um, kind of thing. Um, okay. Okay. So we were we finished um, recording and. Then I looked down at the camera and noticed that the SD card was full. So we were recording probably for like seven minutes afterwards. No, um, two. But it was more like rambling. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and spare you the details. And we'll just say that it only took 30 minutes for us to sit here and like do it with extra commentary while we're talking. So really it can take you maybe anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, depending on if you keep practicing and how much hair you have and just, you know, all of the things. So, with that said, I hope you learned something about <laughs> one thing at least. At least, hopefully, one thing. If it's that I'm a crazy person who curls my hair weird, then yes. that's fine. But I hope you enjoyed. At least, if you didn't learn anything, hopefully, you were yes, a great time entertained. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over here. Yeah. Um, but also we decided too, while we were at clearing out the SD card, that um, our next tutorial is going to be how to curl your hair with a straightener. Because um, I do that frequently. Um, she does not. So that'll be a fun one to look out for next time if the wand isn't your style. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. On three. Ready? One, two, three. Get real! <laughs> that was not planned. We did never once said, I we're going to say, say that's a wrap. I already said that's a wrap. I was like, in my head, I was oh like, I was like, should we plan to do this? No. I was like, let's plan to do it. But then I was like, what if I just say, what if I just do a countdown? Do you think we're on the same page? Because we're never on the never. same page. I'm crying. That was perfect. 